Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Momo E. Kamara, uh, former principal of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Junior and Senior Secondary School, born in October 27, 1971, at a town called Tagrim and the Kafubulam Tivulam Poloko district in the Northwest region. I was born to a father called Pasuri Sanda Kamara, who is now late, and the mother Yama Kamara, who is also late. Uh, I married with seven children, four boys, three girls. And I, I attended the Roman Catholic Primary School in Tagrim from class one to class seven, I sat my common entrance examination at the Roman Catholic Primary School again, Masuila. Then later I proceeded to the St. Francis Secondary School, McKinney, where I started my form one. I was in one red. Then I sat my ordinary level examination, that is GCO level, at the St. Francis Secondary School, but I could not make it up during that time. Later, the following year, I proceeded to the Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School, Kisi Dockyard. Therein, I started knowing about Ahmadiyya. From there, I got my requirements. I got six O levels. I went back to the St. Francis Secondary School because by then, Amadia was not offering sciences at A level. So I was I had wanted to offer biology and chemistry at A level, advanced level. So I had to go back to St. Francis to pursue with my sciences. And that's exactly what I did. From then, I sat my advanced level examination at St. Francis Secondary School and came back to Tagrin. But during that time, it was not, I was not financially strong to further my education to the university. So what I did, I jumped into business. I started business in the first place. I started doing business on board the ferries for some time, about two, three years. And I went out, I started doing an international business to Guinea. After ha having some money, I continued with the business to Guinea, but the business I, I was doing was not comfortable with the government, so I, was, I had to abandon the business, that was cigarettes, I have to abandon the business, come back and open a shop at Agrim wherein I was doing business on food stuff and building materials, that is cement, iron rods, rice, sugar, and so on, just a mixed commodity. I continue with that until short a time when I was privileged to further my education once more. So I went to train for lunch cooking. I went to the Sierra Leone Port Authority at the Queen Elizabeth II Key and train as a lunch cook I, After the training, I graduated as a lunch cook I joined the Amalgamated Artisanal Boatmen's Union as a brand secretary for both Kafublom and Lokomasama initially. But later, I was sent to Rukuper to cover Rukuper. But there was a problem with the boat union, but, but, but uh, the boatmen's union. Uh, they were about to release a boat to Guinea, and the boat name was Confidence. Unfortunately, the boat capsized along the sea, along the Liboya axis. Then, most most of them have to run away. Some were arrested, and they they, they dismissed the, the the union, the American National Boatmen Union. So what happens was, the National Secretary 
has to run away, go back, out, go out of the country. So the union has to be abandoned. I jumped back. I was called upon to serve as a sector also to the Sierra Leone Boat Owners Association. And also at the time, I also served as a sector now for the Poloko district by then. So I served as Poloko district, but I was having my office at Agreen. We have an office, a makeshift place that we are serving. We are tied with the responsibility of manifesting, but by then there was no, no uh, Sierra Leone Maritime Administration yet. But by then they were building, building up uh, the institution in order to be transformed into a Sierra Leone Maritime Administration after our training. So I served as a secretary for some time, uh, up, to, up to six years as a district secretary. Then I have to move a bit and jump into business again because by then I, 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 was, I, have, I have developed my foodstuff business and building materials once more after, after this union, after the breakdown of the union. So I left the, the, the Boat Owners Association work and continued with my business. So later in the business, I have to go again for another course in business administration because we are running a, a, another organization that is Sierra Leone Indigenous Traders Organization. So that prompts me to go for another course in business management. Graduating from that, I continued with my business. I could not go to the office. So later, I was called upon to serve my community as a youth head. During that process, I was tied with the responsibility of bringing in uh, a school because my people were requesting for me to provide them with a school because I was serving in the council by then. Serving as the youth chairman at the same time serving as the district council. And with that responsibility, the community charged me with responsibility of bringing in a secondary school because we have been there in that community for over 30 years without a secondary school. So during that moment, in as much as I was au fait with educational system, I was charged with that responsibility. So I have to, to contact the Bulom Ahmadiyya Muslim Senior Secondary School at Masuela Lungi. By then, I was having some discussion with one Mr. Mohamed Idris, who was the principal at the Bulom Ahmadiyya Muslim Senior Secondary School by then, and Mr. Edward L. Williams, who was also the principal of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Junior Secondary School, Masuela. They grant me permission to find a suitable place so that they can establish the Junior Secondary School at Agreen. I came back to my community. I contacted a few heads of the primary schools, informed them about uh, the request made by the Ahmadiyya Mission for me to find a place so that they can provide me uh, with the junior secondary school. They, they sat together. They further asked me again, because I was having a place along the highway. They came again to me. They said, we have, we have, we have shared all over. We could not see a suitable place for a junior secondary school. Can you, in your own wisdom, again, provide us with your place along the street? Then... I have no alternative because I have been tied with the responsibility of providing a school. Now that the community has asked me again to provide the place that I was having, while I was running my business, I was running a cinema, later I was using the place as a store, then I have to comply. I told them, okay, I will do that. Then we don't call upon the Ahmadiyya mission to discuss with them further. We held a meeting, a very successful one. They told the community that in as much as we have provided them with the space needed for the establishment of the school. Within that particular year, that was 2005, they would provide us with the junior secondary school. They would provide us with the junior secondary school. And by then, the place was rousy. People were happy. There was dancing, clapping, and so on. So within a few weeks later, the mission came back with some uh, item, materials, veil, 
ties and some other materials and started the process. They asked us to do the admission. We did the admission very well because by then they have just distributed results, NPSC results to, to peoples. So during that, day, during that time, we admitted a lot of candidates and it was nice. Then we started using the place. We established the school and that was the very first Zeno secondary school within the two, the, the Rosen section. Within, uh, that is from Tagrin, Rogbom, Medina, Rosen, and so on. All those places have been covered now by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Zeno secondary school by then. That was in September 2005. We, we established the school. We we're having four teachers by then. My, myself making four. Then we have to contact Mr. Eddy to serve tentatively as a principal by then. And later, I was serving as acting vice behind me. When he was not around, I would serve as a principal. Then we have some other people who are handling some other areas. What we did for us to succeed in the opening of this, in the establishment of the school, we contacted the, 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 the primary school heads to join us. That was by then. We were having one Mr. Fuller at the Kulafai Residing Islamic Primary School, Mr. Samuel Bangura at the Roman Catholic, and Mr. Uh, Daoud Akabo at the, the, the Kankele Islamic Primary by then. So they all joined ranks with us. We share the, the scheme. Everybody handled his, his own area, then we started the, the school, then it was successful. 2008, we start our first basic education certificate examination. It was successful. 2009, 10, 11, community came back, contacted us by then. I was at the university in 2010, about to move out. But before I left, 2006, I informed the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission to tell them that I want to further my education, at least to read for a degree this time around. They assured me of their support, but they told me they must be supposed to replace someone or to place a substantive principal. And that was exactly what they did. So they replaced me, myself and Mr. Eddie now, with a substantive principal who, who, who was running the school in my absence. From 2006 until 2010, I graduated at the Milton Magai College of Education and Technology with BSc in Education. Before, 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 my graduation, I was then contacted by Mr. Idris again to say, gentlemen, in as much as you are ending your course this year, you have to come back to your school. You established this school. You are one of the founders of this school. So at the same time, for it to uh, be promoted, you have to be at the helm of things again. I said, what? I've now enrolled at the Amadi Akisido Akiar by then. I've been contacted by Mr. Karim Sise, Abdul Karim Sise at the Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School, Kisido Kyad. So he asked me to enroll as a teacher after ending my, my, my BSc course at Milton Magai. Then I accepted. So from there, I told Mr. Idris, I said, Mr. Idris, I don't think it would be possible for me to go back to Tagrin. I'm here now at Kisido Kyad, serving as a teacher also. And they, they, they also needed me so much because by then they were not having enough science teachers and I was handling biology and chemistry. I said, they said no, you have to come back. If you only have to rescue Amadea's situation, you have to come back. Then I, I, have to, I have to hold on to my piece. I said, well, let me try to end what I'm doing now. After which I will contact you again. I will see you and see what will happen. Then he then told me to come back at once he booked an appointment with me to see me at a particular date. So when I came back, at that particular time, he told me in his office 
that gentleman, this is our situation. Amadea is about to fall down. And you are the very person that established this school together with us. You should not allow it to fall down. Come and head the school so that you will help to rebuild or to rekindle the hopes of the people for Amadea. And I said, okay, I have no alternative. So I have to inform Mr. Edim. Mr. Edim said, okay, no problem. Gentleman, you have to go. It's the same mission. So when I came back in 2010, I was, I was appointed as the acting principal of the Amadea Muslim Junior Secondary School, Tagrim. I became the substantive acting principal. The following year, the, the community contacted me again together with my staff to say they want to get now a senior secondary school because they were suffering. And, and during that time, I used to disturb Mr. Karim Sise uh, at the Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School dockyard. Then I told him, Mr. Mr. Sise, this, this, this is the, the request made by the community again, saying they want to get a senior secondary school now. In as much as I've been disturbing you every now and then to, for admission into the SSS 1, what help can you give to us so that we can establish this school? Then Mr. Karim Sise told me to just find again a suitable place so that he will send me, he will provide me with a staff, with a very strong staff that will be able to establish the senior secondary school. After some time, I went back to Mr. Sise and informed him that I have got a place, even though it's just it's just one or two classrooms, at least, but that one will suffice. And Mr. Sise did exactly what he promised. He came by, he sent someone. By then it was one Mr. Masare, commonly called Pajero, with other staff. He came and gave hopes to the community, inform them that we are coming, Amadea is coming back to establish the senior secondary school. Just provide us with at least 50 candidates. If you can provide us with at least 50 people to enroll into the SSS one, then automatically we'll be able to provide you with the, the required staff, then you start your school. Then we started the admission, we got the number we needed, and I think that was how we established the, the senior secondary school. We started with two classrooms, we continue with our effort together with my staff. We continue with some effort. We added. We begin. We began to add some classrooms. We the following year we got five classrooms. We continued again. The following year again we added another two classrooms. We got seven. And after some time now, going towards the third or fourth year before we st we started taking our hours, we got up to eight classrooms. And today we are boasting of. 10 classrooms and the school. Uh, quite recently, we are planning to get to the one shift, but it was not possible because we were having additional pupils, additional enrollment. So, which means we, we could not get, we could not go into one shift because the classrooms were not enough. So, in 2016, we, we sat our, our first WAS exams. By then, under the Bulom Amadea Muslim Senior Secondary School, we sat our exams. It was a little bit better, not quite well anyway. 2017 again, we did the same thing. We lifted the thing a bit. 2018, we changed the venue, the center. We went at Kisidokar because by then, government was saying uh, the number at Bulom. They have submitted number, they could not add an additional number again. So we had to contact uh, Mr. Karim Sise at the Ahmadiyya dockyard. He granted us permission. We enrolled our candidates there during that time. And we, we, we fought it hard for them to do well. And he did. They did very well during that time. We got about 20 requirements out of the 60 candidates we sent. And that was the best result we, 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 we got during our SSS days. The following year now, we strike for center, we could not get. 
because of the delay in getting the centre and the delay in telling WAC that we will go back to our previous centre, they have to send her to St. Joseph. We sat at St. Joseph. There were minor hitches here and there, but that, that was not too bad. Again, the results were not too bad. We managed to get few requirements, but not as it was before that particular, uh, before the, the previous year, that the 2016, 2016 to 2018. So this year now, 2019, 2020, I then stood up firm to say, this time round, because of the number of candidates we used to send for us, which is over 200, we are getting at 250 and above, I have to strike for a centre. And fortunately, we got a centre in 2019, 2020. 2020, we sat in our school now, together with other schools from within Kafubulom, Chiefdom. So we are now waiting for that, for those results. But before the exams, I got employment now at the Office of National Security. So I have to resign in October 2019. So meaning I was, on, I was running the school now at, as a part-time principal, sort of. But I was, having a, I, I was having some caretakers who were handling matters. So towards the end, 2020, so the, the, the mission and the ministry asked me to at least provide them with a substantive caretaker that they would continue to work with. So I did that during the last board meeting. I supplied them with few teachers who were serving under my, under my reign as senior teachers. So I supplied them to serve as acting principal and acting vice principals. And up to this time now, they are serving on to the end of this was and uh, Becker exams. And quite frankly, the other fortunate part of it all, we are now having uh, a center for Becker. So as I am speaking now, we have a center now for NPSC, Becker and WAS. All these things are now in place in the Ahmadiyya Muslim Senior and Senior Secondary School. Then, uh, quite recently again, following the deposit of uh, money into our school account, uh, the, the school subsidy, we cut down some amount. We tried all our best to build a hall because of this center we have got to build a hall, but we are fighting very hard to complete that hall. And that hall can accommodate nearly 300 people at a go. So that one again, was the latest achievement we try to make, but we are trying to complete that one, you know, with the help of the mission and some other, well, other people. And the, the, the money we are getting from the subsidy, we are trying to at least complete that all. After the establishment of the school in 2005, then came the mission again to establish their own Jamaat.